So what is going on my YouTube family? It's your boy Amercado7 back again with another video. Uh, today I'm pretty much doing a shoe review um, just like I did a couple videos ago <clears throat> and today it's kind of uh, it's gonna be on the shoes that I wear um, very often. If you guys were to see pretty much any of my videos uh, on shoes you would know that I'm really into runners um, lately. I don't really buy anything but runners because with my age, getting older and whatnot, um, I'm just really into comfortable shoes and I'm not that into Jordans as I was or let's say Vans or some other shoe um, in that general area. So now I'm really into runners and these shoes I currently found in Orlando when I was on vacation. I went back to uh, my parents' timeshare over in Orlando. Um, if you guys look way back into like some of the first vlogs that I ever made, um, you would see that where I was pretty much. But uh, while I was down there, I decided to go to a couple outlets and we went to an outlet mall that had a finish line. The finish line store had a pair of these New Balances. These are the New Balance um, 24-7, I believe they're called. They're 247, but I'm gonna go ahead and call them 24-7s. Um, these shoes are really, really nice. Um, they're just a runner and it has uh, touches of leather here on the heel that goes all around into the inside. And the midsole is just like a regular, it's like a, almost like a more dense type of uh, cushion. And then this is also like a uh, rubber and then it has some nice little laces and a leather um, tab on the front with a small little pull tab on the back. The shoe is basically constructed of this like, uh, how you say like a like a prime knit material almost like a nike fly knit something like that um but these shoes are fairly comfortable the insoles are nothing special just the regular foam but these shoes for whatever reason are super super comfortable after you wear them for the first time the first time i wasn't a huge fan of them uh my feet kind of started to hurt and i was like i don't know if i want to keep wearing these but i gave it some time obviously you have to let shoes break in so I gave it some time and now I absolutely love the shoes they're super comfortable I've worn them to work out and everything and they are really really comfortable shoes um, I have a wider foot and they fit me just fine um, and they don't look goofy like usually you know how there's like the, the people with the wide feet would understand this for sure that usually you want to buy a running shoe but it's like so narrow that you don't want to wear it because then it just looks like the shoes blown out before you even get to wear it three times like you know what I'm saying so these shoes are definitely uh, wide foot friendly I would say um, it depends basically um, I'm flat footed as well so these shoes also do um, serve well to flat footed people so um, I definitely recommend picking these up I picked these up in the all black colorway um, only because I needed a shoe that I can just throw on with whatever and um, it would look good and I just need an all black shoe again um, so I absolutely love these and I might try to go ahead and pick these up in a different color soon um, I only paid $50 on these shoes and I feel like for $50 you can't get any more bang for the buck. These shoes look great, they feel great, and they perform just great. They look good with just about anything. You can wear them with like some shorts with some khakis, you can wear them with some long pants, you can wear them with some joggers, you can wear them with, you can wear them butt naked. It don't matter, they look good, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, but for retail, these shoes did come out to be, uh, these shoes when they came out, they were, let's see if it focuses here. Ah, uh, they were ninety dollars. Okay, um, for ninety dollars. Okay, can we? Okay, I'm on. So yeah, the shoes are ninety dollars, and um, for ninety dollars, uh. I don't know if I would technically pay $90 for these shoes. I mean, it's not like they're not worth it, but $90, I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I saw them before for $90 when they first came out. I always was intrigued by the shoe, but I never really pulled the trigger until I saw them for uh, $50, and then that's when they enticed me. So I guess you would you could say that I wouldn't pull the trigger on them for $90 unless it was a really cool colorway, an all black colorway like this, 90 bucks, uh, probably, I'd probably go more into something like, 
a boost or something that would cost me like 110, 120, 130, something around those lines. That way I know that I'm gonna get way more wear out of those because they're more comfortable in my opinion um, than something like this that's just a regular foam midsole. Um, but these shoes definitely do are comfortable and for 50 bucks you really can't beat them. These are on finish line and I currently looked online and they still should be for $50. So if you guys can, I definitely go ahead and pick these up. But these shoes do fit true to size and um, they do offer just a little bit of wiggle room. So they're very comfortable shoes and you really can't go wrong with these shoes. If this video does help you guys decide whether to pick these up, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Also leave a thumbs up if you guys are liking this content. Uh, it helps me out a lot and yeah. So yeah, let's get some on foot shots and uh, yeah, let's cue that now. So, see Damn, these are fire. All right, let's get this B-roll, baby. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please, like I said before, please leave a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. It doesn't only make me feel good, but it also makes sure that my videos can be seen by other people and their suggestions and stuff like that. So it really helps me out a lot. Um, so if you guys do really like the video, please leave a thumbs up and be sure to share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Please and thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.